Welcome to the 10th Wave YouTube channel. Um, we are here with the three of the four percussionists that were performing in the concert that happened last December to the beat of her own drum, which featured five percussion ensemble pieces by female composers. And so my name is Ari, this is Bjorn, and this is Heather. And Patty's not here with us, but um, with us in spirit. Well, first of all, uh, let's just go down the program then. Mm -hmm. um, we started off with a duo and really uh, by Molly Joyce called Uniformity. And this was quite the challenging piece. Do you want to talk about it a little bit? Yeah. Um, well, I think I discovered the piece just looking, looking up different composers, different female composers on YouTube um, and stumbled upon Molly Joyce's Uniformity and was really struck by like the simplicity of the piece where um, both performers are playing on uh, glockensp the same glockenspiel notes, um, splitting a melody together, playing the same melody, um, playing different notes of the same melody. So I was really struck by the simplicity of it. Uh, and then we started rehearsing and, and, and started discovering how challenging the piece was. Um, it's a super groovy, fun piece, um, but I really, I really loved the minimalism and the simplicity of the piece. That's what really drew me to it. Mm -hmm. The next piece was "Blow Up" by Victoria Chia. I think one of the one of the real um, real special things about that piece is that even though we we're all percussionists and everything is all about hitting things, well, "Blow Up" is really all was really all about breath in large point part. Um, it it uh, you know we had to. It was about breath. It was about anticipation and some uh, and uh, sometimes holding your breath <laughs> and 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 waiting over long stretches of of silence until the next thing um, could happen. So it was it was very intense from from that standpoint, but not a, an intensity born out of playing a lot of notes, but of playing very relatively few. Mm -hmm. The next piece uh, was Count to Five. Ah, mm -hmm. yep. Speaking of theatrical pieces, mm -hmm. I remember one of the conversations that came up constantly, I think Heather, you mentioned mm -hmm. was, what are we doing sitting around this table with all of these objects yeah. and trying to discover that? Which is really a, a, a question that you ask, like what, what is it that, what is the convention that brings us to this table? Mm -hmm. Are we, you know, I and mean, so I think we decided we were having a dinner party <laughs> and that, that um, helped make that, it, that helped make that work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think, I don't think I've ever played a piece with, with fans before. And I was very happy that you two <laughs> um, had to do that part because I, I didn't have my fan technique <laughs> done. It was tricky. Yeah, it, it <laughs> I used was... both hands. I wasn't able to get the whole one hand thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the fourth piece was "Violent Tender." Violent Tender. Yes, it was by Yvonne Wu. I love in, in "Violent Tender" um, as opposed to the other pieces that we had just been men mentioning. Um, makes use of a broad, large gesture. Mm -hmm. in a really, really powerful way so that, I mean, there are all sorts of intricate things that are happening in each one of these dramatic things that happen, but they're, they're very, it's not so much about, you know, how, how this little note fits next to that note. It's, it's this large, um, uh, very impactful, sometimes scary, sometimes but always um, emotionally gripping um, mm -hmm. gestures that she's created. And I also got to play beans, so I thought that was really fun. That was cool, yeah, pouring yeah. beans. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, um, our last piece is Glow Dance mm -hmm. by Shruti. Shruti? Yep, that the three of us got to play. Yes, we mm -hmm. did. Mm -hmm. The Shruf, um, Shruti's piece, um, Shruti Rajasinghar. Yes, yes, thank you. Um, that was really fun. It was very fun. What a great closer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And with actual real pitches. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, except, um, except for the tinfoil on the... Oh, 
yes, on the a new phone. sound. <laughs> yeah. I yes. have no idea. I will have to ask her where she found that mm-hmm. sound. Um, Glow Dance features um, tin foil on the vibraphone for some parts of it, where mm-hmm. I'm, and it, it creates a sound I had not made with my vibraphone yet. Yeah. It was really, really quite lovely. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, very, very fun piece. Um, Shruti. Um, took such care to make sure, as she usually does, that, that all of the parts that she wrote were so very playable by people mm-hmm. and such that, that the, the amount of effort that you put into the piece, um, it ends up sparkling and sounding um, um, like it, 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 its effect is, is uh, it magnifies um, the effort that you do. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if I'm putting that the, the right way. Um, as sometimes pieces do the opposite. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So she makes she makes her performers sound very very good. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> um, thank you for watching our our little snippets of our tenth wave percussion concert. Um, little chat. <laughs> what do we call this? <laughs> um, our recap percussion recap. concert mm-hmm. recap. I just really hope that you can check out the full concert online. Um, it's on, right on our channel. The link should be uh, below in the details. So if you like to hear the pieces that we were talking about, um, please check that out. And look for more concerts and more ideas like this on 10th wave.org. And um, on behalf of um, 10th Wave, see you next time. Yes. Okay. Bye. Bye. Oh, my God.